Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to create a user defined function within the Java platform. The compiler which we are using is the Java Eclipse. So first of all, we need to click on create a new Java project. Here we need to write the name of the project as error triple eight or you can write any other name of your own choice. Now we need to click on next and then on finish. Our project is created and we need to click on the expansion button or right click on this SRC folder and click on new and then click on class. Here, first of all, you need to tick the public static void main function. It is our main function which is very necessary for the proper running of the Java program. Also need to write the name of the class and we can write it as like a ABC11. Okay, so this is the name of the class and it is declared as the public class. Okay, so we need to finish it out. Now our main coding format is generated. It has one public class and one void static static void main function. Okay, so 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 mainly our code will be written inside this void main function. So we we, we as we, as our tutorial is about the creation of the user defined function means that the user or we need to define this function on our own and then we will use it in our void main function so first of all we need to write void static sorry you need to write first static okay and one more thing that why we use to put static keyword here because first of all we need to make it accessible without any instance of this class okay we are declaring our user defined function within this abc11 public class so what we need to write static why it is so because with the help of this word we can access this function this user defined function which which we are going to create without any sort of instance of or object of that particular class then we need to write void. Why we, we need to write void? Because it is the return type of the function. Means that after the function is completed, all its commands and all its programming lines, then it will feed it up with no output. Okay. So, so that is why we need to write void. It is called as the return data type. Then we can write name. So we can write any name like I, I, I. This is the name of any like function okay then there must be two parentheses and two flower brackets two round brackets and two flower brackets these curly braces or brackets are the body of our user defined function and this triple i is actually the name of the function you can write any other name if you want to write ij it's okay then what is what, what 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 is the function of these round brackets they used to accept the parameters okay parameters like what that this function used to take some sort of feed like here we can say a comma b okay int a comma int b now what is meant by this int a in int b int a means that in term means that any sort of integer type data can be given on this place physically okay physically like you can say that physically on this highlighted place we can feed in to the function our user defined function and second integer can be given okay like take it from outside and put in the in this highlighted area it can take but not of character or any other thing because our accepted parameter type is integer here after both these are given to the function then what will happen we need to write a cross b 
A cross B means that both needs to be multiplied with each other. Okay? So, we can write int V is equal to A cross B. A cross B. Okay? So, what will happen? The functions, so the integers which will be given on this place and this place must be multiplied with each other and then their answer will be stored inside this v variable which is of integer type okay it can just hold the integer type data so now we need to write system dot out dot print system dot out dot print ln and v System dot out dot print ln v. So what 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 this function will do? This is a built-in function. Okay, print ln is the built-in function of the Java, and our this function is the user defined. That is triple i. So it will just print the answer that is v. Okay, on the output screen on the output screen. So now how we can use it? Okay. Okay, first of all, our control will go to the public static void main function, means that the compiler will start from this point, that is void main. And from void main, if we need to run this function, if we need to run this triple i function, we need just to write the name of the function with two brackets and nothing more. Triple i and, and two brackets. And here we need to give the data because it used to accept triple i and this these things they used to accept two integers at least okay because of int a and int b okay when we will write here these two and three will go from this place to to int a and int b okay int a and int b and then from this place they used to go inside the body of the user defined function that is come here inside these curly brackets that is v then they used to multiply with each other and the answer will be stored in this v and then printing the answer on the screen okay so first control come here and then go here and then this and then this and okay then we got our answer here okay so now we need to run the project okay and we got the answer as 6 on the output window so in this way you can define your own user defined function within java so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe